Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Syncfusion Flutter Circular Charts. In this video, you will see how to add the Syncfusion Flutter Charts package to a Flutter project and add the Circular Chart widget to it. You will learn how to set a data source to the chart and how to add a pie, donut, and radial bar series to it. I will explain how to show data labels, add a title, legends, and tooltips in the circular charts. First, open the VS Code Editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, so I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. First, run this application. Choose the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Now, let me show you how to add a circular chart in this app, in place of the text and button widgets. To do so, first, I need to import the Syncfusion Flutter Charts package from the pub.dev website. So, open the pub spec YAML file and declare the dependency Syncfusion underscore Flutter underscore charts using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command Flutter pub git to download the package. The download is completed now. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the charts.dart library so that you can use the chart widget in this file. Let's write the circular charts related code within the My Homepage State class. Remove the code in the My Homepage State class for better clarity. Override the build method and within the build method, return a safe area widget to render the chart within the usable area. To its child, set a scaffold widget so that you can set the material design to your application. To the scaffold's body, set the SF circular chart widget so that you can add the pie series to it. Other circular series like donut and radial bar can also be rendered using this widget. I will explain these series types in the later part of this video. Save the file. The hot reload feature loads the application in the Android emulator. You can see the empty chart displayed in the application. Now, let me show you how to create a pie chart for GDP data by continent. Define a class named GDP data. Declare a field of type string and name it continent and declare an int field to store GDP values. Create a constructor for this class that receives the parameters continent and GDP. Next, I need to create a chart data source and bind it to the chart. To do so, create a method that returns a list of GDP data, get chart data. Within it, define a chart data field of type list of GDP data and assign a collection of GDP data. Here I have set the GDP data in billions of US dollars. Return the chart data collection. To set this data to the chart, in the My Homepage State class, declare a field of type list of GDP data. To initialize the chart data field, override the initState method. Within it, initialize the chart data by calling the method getChartData, which will return the GDP data collection. Now, in the SF Circular Chart widget, set the series with a circular series collection and set the pi series by passing the types as GDP data and string. Set its data source property with the chart data object that we just created. Next, you need to map the data for the x value and y value. So, use the x value mapper property and set the continent field using a lambda expression. This will plot all the continent values. In the same way, use the y value mapper property and set the GDP field. Now, everything is set. Save the file to see the changes in the chart. You can see the pie chart in the application. The GDP values are expressed based on continents. Let me show the values for each slice in the pie chart using data labels. To do so, in the pie series class, set the data label settings property with the data label settings class and set the is visible property to true so that the data labels will be visible in the chart. Also, you can add more settings like alignment, angle, and many more. For this example, I'll keep the data label simple and then save the file. You can now see the data labels in the chart. Here the values are in billions of US dollars. So, I need to state that in the chart, let me show this along with the chart title. To do so, in the SF Circular Chart widget, add the title property, set the chart title widget, and set its text property with a title. 
I have mentioned the data units as billions of USD. You can also add alignment, background color, border color, and text style. Save the file to see the changes. The provided title is now shown in the chart widget. You can also show legends in the chart by adding the legend property in the chart with the legend class and setting the is visible property to true. Set the overflow mode property to wrap so that all the legend values will be visible in the view. Save the file and you will be able to see the legend at the bottom of the chart. Finally, let me show you how to enable tooltips in the Pi series. First, I need to create a tooltip behavior object and assign it to the chart. So, in the My Homepage State class, declare a field of type tooltip behavior. And in the init state method, initialize the tooltip behavior object with the tooltip behavior class and set the enable property to true. Now, in the SF Circular Chart widget, add the tooltip behavior property and set the tooltip behavior field. This enables tooltips in the chart widget. To show the tooltip in the Pi series, in the Pi series class, set the enable tooltip property to true. Now, save the file. Tap on a data point to see its tooltip. Next, let me show you how the same data looks when I use the donut series. Change the Pi series to the donut series. Save the file to see the changes. You can see the donut chart in the application. In the same way, I can change it to a radial bar chart. Change the donut series to radial bar series and save the file. You can see the radial bar chart in the application. The range is less than half of its circumference. This is because the maximum value for the radial bar is auto-calculated. I can customize it by setting the maximum value property in the radial bar series. I set the value 40,000 since my maximum value is around 35,000. Save the file, you can see the radial bar rendered almost to its full circumference. That's it. Let me summarize the main points of this video. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter Circular Chart widget to a Flutter project. You learned how to set a data source to the chart and then plot the data as Pi, Donut, and Radial Bar series. You also learned how to show data labels, add a title, legends, and tooltips in the circular charts. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and the documentation link in the video description below. You can also check if you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.